Welcome back you guys. Today Sky and Kakoa here are going to be helping me make DIY peppermint ice cream for dogs. We are really excited to show you guys this recipe. The dogs love it. We are also going to be making DIY gingerbread cookies for dogs to go along with it. So let's get into the cookies. So we're going to get started with the gingerbread cookies for dogs and then while those are baking we're going to get into the really fun stuff and make the peppermint ice cream. So the first thing you're going to need for the gingerbread cookies is you're going to mix up all the dry ingredients together. This is going to be one and a half cups of whole wheat flour, one tablespoon of ground ginger, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. So we're just going to whisk this together and then set it aside while we mix up the wet ingredients. All right, so for the wet ingredients, it is going to be a fourth of a cup of water, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and then one fourth a cup of molasses. So we're just gonna whisk this together so it's combined. So we got the wet ingredients mixed together. We're gonna bring back the dry ingredients and get a spoon to mix this. So we are going to slowly pour in the wet ingredients, woo, <laughs> into the dry ingredients. So Sky has been starting to shed her winter coat already starting to get colder outside and so she's just shedding like crazy and I could just see the hair flying into this dough right now <laughs> it's a good thing these cookies are for the dogs so this dough is a little bit dry so I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to it to help it mix up a little bit easier so as the dough starts to form a little bit more you can start mixing with your hands to help smooth in that flour a little bit better um, and then once you get it all mixed together into a big ball we'll start to roll it out and cut it with our cookie cutters so we got all the dough mixed up together into a big ball I'm gonna let the dogs try it real quick before we roll it out oh <laughs> yeah you just swallowed that hole Oh, yummy. All right, so we're just gonna grab a little bit of flour and put it on this plate for us so I can roll out the cookie dough. And then we're gonna put a little bit of flour on our rolling pin. Hey, no. We are gonna roll these cookies out to one quarter inch and then cut them into the shapes. So once we have rolled this out, it's about one quarter of an inch thick. We are going to take our cookie sheet. I lined it with aluminum foil so that it's easier to get the cookies off after they're done baking. So we just got these cute little dog themed cookie cutters that we're gonna cut these gingerbread cookies into. And you're just gonna cut these out of the rolled out dough and place them onto your cookie sheet. As you get your cookies cut out, you'll roll out all the extra dough that you have and then do it again until there's no more dough left. If you guys haven't already, head over to our website, mymountainhusky.com, where we sell these awesome bandanas. Right now we have some holiday themed bandanas going. Sky is wearing the evergreen bandana and Kakoa is wearing our peppermint bandana. So if you like those, head over to our website and check them out. Now we have gotten all of our cookies cut out. Make sure that you preheat your oven to 325 degrees. We are gonna bake these for about 20 minutes or until they're all done. And while these are baking, let's get started on our peppermint ice cream. All right, so to get into this peppermint ice cream, it's pretty simple. We are going to just be taking about 10 mint leaves, um, just putting them in this little blender cup right here. We're gonna Going to be adding in the yogurt it's gonna be about three quarters of a cup of yogurt all right we're only gonna add in about five mint leaves because these are actually a little bit bigger um, than I was expecting and then we're just gonna scoop in this yogurt oh yeah I know you love yogurt and we're going to blend this up just to get that mint flavor into all of the yogurt so let's go blend it up so now that we got this all blended up, I know you want to taste it. So we are just going to add a couple drops of food grade color dye into this. And this is just going to be for um, the coloration and the decoration in the treats. You don't need to add the food dye if you don't want to. So we're just going to mix this up. All right, you can taste just a little bit of it. This looks so awesome. 
Oh, yummy. So now we're gonna show you how to um, make the decorations like you see in the thumbnail, the red and white paw prints. We're gonna be using these large silicone paw print trays and then just a pastry bag. We're gonna add in the red yogurt, uh, mint yogurt into this pastry bag. We're just gonna pipe it into the paw print shape. All right, so now that we got all of the pink yogurt piped into the cookie um, tray, we are gonna set this in the freezer for about 10 minutes just to get that little layer solidified so that when we put in the next layer, um, it's not gonna mix together and look all funky. So let's set this in the freezer and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so we just pulled the paw prints out of the freezer. As you can see, the pink part um, has hardened just a little bit. It's not completely hard, just enough to where it's not gonna mix in with the white once we put that white on top of it. So for the white portion, we are going to add in, again, just about five mint leaves into the little blender cup and a little bit more yogurt this time because there's gonna be more area to fill. So we're gonna add in about a cup to a cup and a half of yogurt to fill up all of these paw prints. So once we get this going, we are going to, again, blend it up and then add them into the trays. So now that we got this all blended up, hmm. Looks delicious. Okay, so we are just going to scoop these on top of the paw prints. The other thing that is great about these treats is the mint inside of it. So as well as they're getting a treat, it's also gonna be freshening their breath up um, with the mint flavor. All right, so now that we got the paw prints completely filled, we are going to set these in the freezer overnight so that they're completely hard. And in the morning, we are gonna have them choose to see which one they like better, the peppermint ice cream or the gingerbread cookie. So we have these gingerbread cookies here that we pulled out of the oven yesterday. We let them cool. Sky has been going crazy to try them ever since she tried that dough yesterday. So I'm curious to see which treat she's gonna like more. And then we just pulled these paw prints out of the freezer this morning. As you can see, the red and a little hint of green from the mint. Super cute, huh? I know. So we're gonna put each one of these on a plate for them and see which one they're going to choose to eat. All right, here you guys go. Looks like they go both straight for the cookies. They did smell really strong. <laughs> what do you think? So it looks like they really enjoyed both of these treats. If you guys wanna see more of Sky and Kakoa's life, make sure that you follow us on Instagram. Our handle is mymountainhusky, and we will see you next time.